Hi guys, today I'm in Manu Antonio. I got the bus from Capus to get here. It costs less than 500 colons one way per person, so we decided to come here. I wanted to show you Manu Antonio outside the Manu Antonio National Park because there's actually a lot of things they can do in Manu Antonio besides going to the park which is going to cost you $18 entry fee. I mean, it's definitely worth to go to the National Park. It's one of the main attractions of Costa Rica and I would for sure recommend it. But if you are going to spend longer than just one day in Manu Antonio, there's plenty of other options which are free of charge and a lot of free beaches which are just as beautiful, perfect for snorkeling, perfect for swimming. So we got some fries and a smoothie because we're going to go for lunch later in the place we've already been to near the National Antonio Park. I can't remember the name of the place but I'm going to show you later that serves the best uh, chicken and chips with salad. So I really want to get that because I've been craving it ever since I got it the first time. But... Ah, thank you baby! Baby spinning the chips. I like it. <laughs> So yeah, so here we're just having a little snack and a drink, strawberry smoothie, let's taste it. Mm. Mm. It's quite refreshing, it's not very sweet, I thought it would be sweeter, but it's nice and refreshing. It's great, babe. You like it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, highly recommend this place, the owner is lovely also, the owner of this place, he's so proud of this place and so accommodating for us even though we only got like a small thing you know some restaurants when you've ordered something small they get like they don't care about you and the customer says they give you but he's just we great have, i think we have the best table here matt is saying we have the best table the best view and he was lovely to us also so highly recommend this place you guys if you are in manu antonio it's a good one i'm enjoying my view mm. <laughs> Cloudy today, though. Yeah. Let's hope it's not gonna rain. Maybe or better. Maybe, but it looks like it might be like this all day. I haven't seen the sun all day. At least it's not raining. Yeah, at least. <laughs> We're carrying on the walk towards Manu Antonio National Park, which is beautiful, very picturesque. We keep seeing the seafront right in front of us as we walk. One thing is, it's a little dangerous, I would say, because there are no pavements. Once again, there are no pavements and no sidewalks. Just a windy mountain road right here. So, yeah, so we have to be really careful. We are just right by Manu Antonio National Park and this is where my favorite restaurant is. Highly recommend chicken and chips in this place. It's actually one of the cheapest restaurants that I found here in Costa Rica and it's also the most delicious. I absolutely love it. So where the entrance is to the park right there, you can see the entrance to the park. You go down this little road here to find the restaurant. Oh, of course, just use Google Maps, that would be the easiest. We 
We just got to Playa Espadilla, the very long beach of Manu Antonio, which is free to enter beautiful. right by the Manu Antonio National Park. It's beautiful and the best place to swim, surf, but the weather at the minute is not ideal for anything other than surfing pretty much because it's raining. It's raining, yeah. It's pouring down quite a lot. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but it's so gray. It's gray, it's foggy. Cloudy. But that's the Playa Espadilla, amazing place to swim or snorkel down the rocks there. It's a pretty long beach. What can we do? We did not expect this weather today, especially because we've been getting such nice weather since coming to Costa Rica. We haven't really been getting much rain, have we? Yeah, yeah. So far, so... It's only now in April. Yeah, April. because it's mid-April. It's I think it's 15th of April today. Maybe so, it's the start of the rain season. Yeah, we are slowly Sorry. transitioning into the rain season. Unfortunately, we want some. We need it. We want to swim. Yeah. I didn't film it, but it was just incredible when we could actually just enjoy the sun and swim and we found some seashells. Oh yeah. And it was just an amazing time. The waves are really strong, the tide is high. Oh, and the surfers there. So there's people surfing down there. We'll show you our place you guys. Uh, I'm going to hide my camera for the time being though because it's raining way too much. Under the street was better but there is rain. Yeah. This is a river bushwalk. This place is actually perfect to experience some wildlife in Costa Rica. So, like, like here. Yeah. Wait, let me focus. Matt has found crab claws and the beach. There are a lot of crabs in this area. If you are looking to find some wildlife, maybe take some pictures of animals or just uh, watch them in their natural habitat, then come here to the end of the Espadilla beach near Manu Antonio National Park. It's likely you won't find any people here, just nature, iguanas, crabs, lizards, birds, you name it, monkeys of also. We saw a few birds here, a few lizards, iguana. We haven't seen any monkeys right now, but it could be possibly due to the weather. Last time when we went to Manu Antonio, we saw monkeys and the time before also. So I think it's just the weather. But look, it feels like we are in a rainforest right by Manu Antonio National Park without having to pay entrance fee. never seen Playa Espadilla this quiet, isn't it? It's yeah, whenever it's we've been. yeah, whenever we've been here, we've been here until the sunset, and it's always been full of people like swimming, just chilling at the beach. But today, the rainy season was really like you could really feel it. The beach is empty, and the beach is nearly completely empty. I mean, there's maybe a couple of people still swimming in the sea. Also, I went to the souvenir shop and oh, got yeah. some cups for my nan and my granddad. I'm really happy about it. Nearly impossible to see, which is a shame, but the lady packed them for us really well. We have a beer cup, wooden beer cup, with slop and with two cans. Yeah, really nice. They're really cute, they're really, really nice. Maybe we'll show you later. Yeah, we'll, this, uh... of course later when we get home because we don't want them to get damaged right now so i'm not going to take them out and it's raining but a little though so. for 25 dollars we managed to find two of them costa rica is really expensive for souvenirs in so many places we've been to you will see one of them for about 20 25 dollars so the fact i managed to find a place for two for 25 dollars i'm quite happy with it yeah. Uh, and Good yeah price. i have souvenirs for my nan and my granddad now 
So yeah, that's pretty much been our day. We came to Mano Antonio. Matt was working remotely in, in the, the morning, morning yeah. so we got here later. But it was mostly the rain, to be honest, that um, made it impossible for us to do much here. Like, I mean, I'm in my bikini right now, but I, there's no way I could have even gone in the sea because there was no sun, just oh, rain all my. day. Well, they now it's not really raining anymore, maybe it's raining ever so slightly, but still, it's just too cloudy and it's not cold, but I bet like without the sun, if we would go in the water, it would feel cold to get out. Yeah, but now maybe we'll sit here and wait a little chill a little bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll, watch we'll the chill a little by the sea. The sound of waves really calms me down. I love the sound of waves and just like looking the ocean. It's, it's just really nice. I love it. I love yeah. this feeling. So that's what we will do and then we'll get the bus back to Cathars. And that will be the end for today. Soon we'll be going to the Caribbean side. Puerto uh, Viejo. Yeah, Puerto Viejo. If you guys have seen it from my other videos, we're actually going back there to do some work away. We found a great workway option. Well, it seems great. That allows me to do videography. So we'll see how that goes. But I'll tell you more about that in the next video. Also, if you haven't seen any of my past videos from Manu Antonio, uh, about Manu Antonio National Park or maybe Cathars and you would like to see that then I'll leave them all linked down in the description or at the end of this video there will be cards to click on if you would like to see those videos but thank you so much for watching today's vlog I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or comments leave them down below like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to me if you're not already and we'll see you in the next video see ya bye guys bye